SpaceX COTS Demo Flight 1 was the first orbital spaceflight of the Dragon cargo spacecraft, and the second overall flight of the Falcon 9 rocket manufactured by SpaceX. It was also the first demonstration flight for NASA's Commercial Orbital Transportation Services COTS program. The primary mission objectives were to test the orbital maneuvering and re-entry of the Dragon capsule. The mission also aimed to test fixes to the Falcon 9 rocket, particularly the unplanned role of the first stage that occurred during Flight 1. Liftoff occurred on 8 December 2010 at 15.43 Coordinated Universal Time The success of the mission allowed SpaceX to advance its vehicle testing plan. With two back-to-back, -back, near perfect, Falcon 9 launches and satisfactory tests of the first Dragon capsule, SpaceX asked NASA to combine objectives laid out for the remaining two COTS missions and permit a berthing at the ISS during its next flight. This combined test mission was completed in May 2012, and achieved its objectives, opening the path to regular cargo deliveries by Dragon to the International Space Station under the Commercial Resupply Services contract. Commercial flights started in October 2012 with CRS-1. Topic. COTS contract On 18 August 2006, NASA announced that SpaceX had won a NASA Commercial Orbital Transportation Services COTS contract to demonstrate cargo delivery to the International Space Station with a possible option for crew transport. This contract, designed by NASA to provide seed money for development of new boosters, paid SpaceX $278 million to develop the Falcon 9 launch vehicle, with incentive payments paid at milestones culminating in three demonstration launches. COTS Demo Flight 1 was the first of the launches under this contract. The original agreement with NASA called for the COTS Demo Flight 1 to occur the second quarter of 2008. This flight was delayed several times, actually occurring in December 2010. Separately from the NASA COTS contract, SpaceX was also awarded a NASA contract for Commercial Resupply Services (CRS) to the ISS. The firm contracted value as $1.6 billion, and NASA may elect to order additional missions for a total contract value of up to $3.1 billion. Topic: <laughs> Preparations. The two stages and Dragon capsule for the second Falcon 9 were built at SpaceX's manufacturing facility at Hawthorne, California, and were delivered to SpaceX's facilities at Cape Canaveral in July and August 2010. Target launch date was rescheduled from its original 2008 date to the end of 2010, with COTS Demo 2 and 3 being rescheduled to 2011. A full wet dress rehearsal was conducted on the 15th of September 2010, and launch was targeted for no earlier than the 7th of December 2010. On the 22nd of November 2010, SpaceX announced that it had received a license for spacecraft re-entry from the Federal Aviation Administration's Office of Commercial Space Transportation for the flight. 
It is the first such license issued to a private enterprise. A successful static test fire was performed by SpaceX on the 4th of December 2010. This was the third attempt to do so, as the first two attempts were automatically aborted. The first attempt was on 3 December 2010, but the test was automatically aborted one second before ignition due to a high-pressure reading. The flight was to proceed on 7 December 2010. However, several cracks were noted on the outer portions of the niobium extension of the second stage Merlin vacuum nozzle. The decision was made to trim the unneeded four feet off the nozzle, since the resulting performance loss was not critical. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Launch events. The launch was ultimately scheduled for 8 December 2010, with launch windows available from 1400 to 1406, 1538 to 1543, and 1716 to 1724 Coordinated Universal Time based on the availability of the NASA Tracking and Data Relay Satellite TDRS network used to track and communicate with the spacecraft. The first attempt was originally scheduled for the middle of the first launch window, at 14.03 Coordinated Universal Time, but was moved to the end of the window at 14.06 Coordinated Universal Time. This attempt was aborted at T248 on the countdown clock because of false telemetry data. The launch was retargeted for 1543 coordinated universal time and was successful. First stage engines cut off at T plus 256, nose cone separated at T plus 347, second stage engines cut off at T plus 856, all as planned. The Dragon vehicle separated at T plus 930 and achieved a near circular orbit, with a perigee of 288 kilometers, 179 miles, an apogee of 301 kilometers, 187 miles, and an inclination of 34.53 degrees. These were close to targeted marks of a 300 kilometers, 190 miles circular orbit at an inclination of 34.5 degrees. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Additional payloads. The Falcon 9 carried a small number of nanosatellites to orbit as well. Included were the first U.S. Army nanosatellite, Space and Missile Defense Command, Operational Nanosatellite Effect, or SMDC-1, for a 30-day mission, and two 3U buses, the CubeSat Experiment QBX, provided by the U.S. National Reconnaissance Office, also expected to remain in orbit for only 30 days. One of the weight ballasts inside the Dragon spacecraft was a metal barrel containing a wheel of French Labruere cheese. This cheese is produced in Bulgneville, Vosges. It was packed as a joke, and references the cheese shop sketch from Monty Python's Flying Circus. The barrel's lid was pasted with an image from the poster for the 1984 spoof film Top Secret. SpaceX's CEO did not reveal the identity of the cargo during the post splashdown news conference, for fear of the joke overshadowing the company's accomplishments. <laughs> <laughs> Orbit and landing Topic. 
Dragon While in orbit, a battery of automated tests were performed including thermal control and attitude control to maintain uninterrupted TDRS data links. At 16:15 coordinated universal time, SpaceX announced that it had achieved contact with the Dragon module through the TDRS system. After the two planned orbits, the spacecraft was manually commanded to begin a deorbit burn, resulting in it splashing down in the Pacific Ocean at 1902 coordinated universal time, approximately 800 kilometers (500 miles) west of Baja California after all three parachutes successfully deployed. SpaceX reported that all test objectives were completed, and the recovery craft arrived to retrieve the spacecraft within 20 minutes of splashdown. The craft landed within 800 meters (2600 feet) of the targeted location, well within the 60 by 20 kilometer (37 by 12 miles) recovery zone. From launch to splash down, the demonstration flight lasted for 3 hours, 19 minutes, 52 seconds. Topic: <laughs> Second stage. The second stage engine was reignited in orbit after separation from the Dragon capsule. This allowed SpaceX to work on a secondary mission objective of expanding the launch capability envelope by testing in space engine reignition and ability of the vehicle to achieve a beyond LEO orbit. Even though the nozzle of the Merlin vacuum second stage engine had been substantially trimmed, Due to two cracks discovered only a few days before the scheduled launch, the second stage reached an altitude of 11,000 kilometers, 6,800 miles. Topic: See also List of Falcon 9 launches Cots demo flight 2